week 17 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few guards that would drop here in the first week of the playoffs if they're still on your roster. The first guy is Tomas Santaski of the Chicago Bulls. So Santaraski here, he had a good run for the last few weeks when Kobe White was out with his injuries and his protocol issues on the season. He's ranked 179 in fantasy basketball, 7.8 points a game, 2.4 rebounds, 5 assists, 0.8 threes a game, 90% from the foul line, and 51% from the field. But the last few weeks, his numbers on playing time have gone way down. He's ranked 243 in the time, 6 points a game, 1.6 rebounds, 5.1 assists, 66% from the foul line, and 45% from the field for Sanoransky. So the last four or five games, he just really hasn't been a factor in fantasy basketball or for the Chicago Bulls. Only playing about 15 to 20 minutes a game is Sadoransky. And his own just dropped already 6% in the last couple days here. So the last few games for Sadoransky, April 14th versus the Orlando Magic. 9 points, 6 assists, a block, and a 3. April 17th versus the Cavaliers. 7 points, 3 assists, 1-3. And April 19th in Boston yesterday, three points, three rebounds, four assists, a steal, and a three. So besides that, the numbers have then been down. And he's just not contributing to fantasy owners right now. And there's no reason for him to be on your fantasy roster, even in the deepest of leagues this week. The second guy's Monty Morris of the Denver Nuggets. So Monty Morris, this was his opportunity to get a lot of playing time and shine. But now he hurt the hamstring the other night is Morris, and he's going to be out for a little while now, the reports are. So Morris was the big pickup after Jamal Murray went down with a torn ACL last week. So now Monty Morris on the season, 170th, he's ranking 10.3 points a game, 2.2 rebounds, 3.2 assists, 1.1 threes a game, 78% from the foul line and 47% from the field for Morris. And the last couple weeks for him, he was starting to trend upwards and getting more playing time since Murray went down with 10 points a game, 2 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 1.1 threes a game, 51% from the field, and 100% from the foul line. So Morris, it's just unfortunate, another Denver Nugget player going down. And I wouldn't be surprised now that Austin Rivers finishes a deal here with Denver. There was reports last week he was in serious talks with him, but no follow-up report that he actually signed the contract. But now with Morris and Murray out, probably for the whole season, I don't think Morris will come back anytime soon, maybe in the playoffs for this team. But as far as fantasy basketball, the season's over for him, in my opinion. So drop Morris. It's an easy drop this week. And he's been dropped in 8% of fantasy league so far. And he should be dropped. The third and final guard that should drop this week is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. So Holiday here... He's been pretty decent this season in fantasy basketball and for the Pacers. Ranked 120 at 10.5 points a game, 3.6 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 1.2 steals a game, 2.4 threes a game, 77% from the foul line, and 40% from the field for Holiday. So Holiday, he's a three-point specialist, a pretty decent scorer for this Pacer team. And he's been playing a lot of minutes, but the last few weeks, numbers have really dropped here is Holiday, 6.6 points a game, 2.8 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 1.6 threes a game, 32% from the field, which is horrendous, and 33% from the foul line. So he's still getting 25, 30 minutes a game right now, is Justin Holiday, but he's just not contributing for this pace of team or doing anything for fantasy owners, and he's been dropped in 4% of fantasy leagues over the last couple days here. So owners, they had enough of him, and this is... Win or go home here in the playoffs starting this week. So you can't hold on to guys that are struggling. And Holiday, he's definitely been struggling. April 16th at the Jazz, 5 points and a 3. April 18th at the Hawks, 6 points, 2 rebounds, an assist, steal, block, and 2 threes. And April 19th versus San Antonio, 4 points, 5 boards, an assist, and a 3. So those numbers, they're just not going to cut it here for fantasy basketball, or even for the Indiana Pacers. He's playing 30 minutes a game about, and the production's not there, and he's an easy drop candidate this week, so that's a few guards I would look to drop here in week 17 of the fantasy basketball season.